right, thank you, Amy. A big win last night. We know those celebrations are coming. A lot of excitement in the Star City. And of course, our 10 News sports team was covering all oh, the excitement. Oh, man, we had, we had a live feed coming into the <laughs> newsroom from over at the Berg Center last night. And John Apicella is here now. Appy, man, I tell you, this... I don't think I have ever seen that in the confines of the city of Roanoke before that much excitement related to a sports event. That was really special. It was some good stuff, and this has been brewing for a long time. I don't know if you guys remember, but I'll remind you, I was live in 2015 at the Berglund when the McGinns bought this team mm -hmm. and how excited the core of Roanoke hockey was. There was a fan base here that wanted mm -hmm. hockey back from dating back to the Express days. Well, they got it. They had to wait a little while, but they got their championship. It was some great stuff. The Dogs' President's Cup Series victory, the stuff of legend, back-to-back -back overtime wins after giving up tying goals late in regulation. That's not how you draw it up, but nonetheless, that's what happened. The Dogs outlasted Birmingham 2-1 overtime to win the Cup after giving up that tying goal with just 10 seconds left. I thought it was over. We were all ready to celebrate, and then that happened right there. But rather than being deflated, they would rally after they went in the locker room, they had their little time out, and then Captain Mac Jansen netted the game winner. It is the city's first hockey title since the Rebels in 1974, and the history not lost on the principal owners, the McGinn family. You know, Roanoke and the uh, whole Valley has been so welcoming to the McGinn family and hockey coming back here to the Valley. It means the world to me to give a championship to Roanoke after 49 years here at the Berglund Center. It, it's a loss for the worst, to be honest with you right now. To see how excited they are when we got excited, I mean, that means everything. When your owners care that much, where they're getting emotional, they're sprinting on the ice to hug all the players, it means the world to us. All right, and again, the McGinns bought the club in 2015. The Dogs' first season was that 2016-2017 campaign. And this reminder, goalie Austin Routabush was named Finals MVP. He stopped 18 shots last night. The historical perspective, folks, is this. The Express, many people remember them, won three division titles, but never that league championship. It was the Roanoke Rebels who did win that hockey title in 1974, but nothing since until last night.